Hey guys, we are in uh, Slovakia at the Slovakia Ring, uh, which has been a test track for Praga for quite some time. It's actually the second longest track in Europe, just behind Spa for Cochon, it's about six kilometers, and uh, it is a challenging racetrack. My first impression is this is a, this is a race car. Um, and then say, let's go on the road. Okay, okay, let's go on the road. And then you sit in the car and, and you realize that with your passenger, you're close to each other, but everyone's got room, sit in the car, the visibility. Uh, that was one of the first things that I was amazed with, the visibility that you get, um, because that's not what you expect from a race type car. And we went on the road and then the smoothness, you know, we just left the garage, turned right, went through the gate to exit the circuit, went on the roads, uh, I must say the roads around the Slovakia ring are quite bumpy. Uh, there's some railroad crossing, there's bumps, uh, there's stops, uh, and you just, you just drive like, you know, I was talking to, uh, to the passenger, we were chatting and, and talking about it, and without knowing it, you're just in a very unique car on the road, but just driving like it was a normal car. <laughs> And then I exactly one of the funniest experiences that I have had in my career. We entered the track through the main gate, we went through the garages without stopping, turn left, onto the pit lane, off we go. I'm like, we were just on the road, we didn't change anything, off we're on the racetrack, and, and then you start pushing. And then that's where I realized that uh, it took me a couple of laps to get to, you know, uh, where the car is capable of doing, because I was, I was blown away by the performance into the high speeds, the way the car, the balance of the car works and I totally 100% forgot that five minutes before I was on the road. I was like preparing a weekend. I was pushing the limit of the car, I was trying to brake later, I was trying to go fast and high speed and I looked down and I was wearing jeans, trousers. So I'm like no, I'm not in my racing suit, I'm actually in the car that I was driving on the road and, and you totally forget that you are on a road car. It's it's a race car when you're on a racetrack, it's a road car when you're on a road, and they actually it's actually the same car. It's a car for drivers. So you go out there and it behaves like a race car. You know, it's one of the big, big technicality that was brought of the Bohemia is the weight, you know being below 1,000 kilo nowadays, it's, it's a huge challenge. And, and as a race car driver, when you put 60 kilos of fuel in a race car, you feel it. So the weight is, is definitely something that you fight all the time. And having a light car, that makes a huge difference. We had that second turn two in, in the Slovakia ring. It's a very high speed, 220 kilometers corner. And the car is just there. And it drives like a single seater. You don't realize you're in a GT car. It doesn't feel like a GT car. You actually see the front tires, which is like, you know, open wheel, single seater type of racing. But because of the very lightweight, weight to power ratio, balance of the car, brakes, aerodynamic device, you, the first thing I was like, okay, here I can brake later. Here I can carry more entry speed. Here the throttle was pretty good. And I just, as I say, I just felt like I was in the Roman that was on the road 10 minutes ago. For me, a driver, the most beautiful part of the driver is the high-speed corner, you know. It's just feeling that the car is settled, you've got the downforce, you've got the car, you've got the balance, and you, you just slide it four wheels slightly, and that's the best feeling that you get in race car, and that's a feeling you can get here. It's, it's not a feeling I, I could get on a heavy car, just because the weight is your biggest enemy at that time. It's a race car that you forget it's a race car when you're on the road, and it's a road car that you forget that it is when you're on a racetrack. Because when you're inside, Everything is designed, everything is nice. We've got all the AC lights, you know, all the buttons that you need. You can even set up your mirrors electronically. So you got everything that you want and, and the seat is, is comfortable. And those two worlds that normally never kind of cross, just did cross. So that, and then you look at the, the mirrors, you know, the mirrors mount, the way they design is just for the aerodynamic flow. Every small details out there has been has been thought about um, about being a performance race car, but also if you look in the mirror, you see as well as in any mirror. So they actually help you on track and they help you on the road. And it's all I think that's a good summary of all the details and everything that's made for that car to be the way it is. Uh, the beauty of 
the dimension of the Bohemia is that if you want to put some slick tires with GT3 wheels, you can do that. So if you want to push your, you know, if you want to push further the limit of the car, you want to put some slicks on, and that's possible. So you can actually have a car that can, can do everything and does it really well. It's going to be a very limited car. I know some of them are going to go into collection, but I hope that many of them are going to go on the racetrack because that's where a car belongs. I believe as a race car driver, cars should be on track. And I can tell you that if that car is on track, you know that the driver is driving is, is a guy that's a top driver. Ooh.